Hello everyone. Uh, so the previous video, previous video was importing a Parasolid file as a surface mesh into Star CCM. Uh, this video is going to be splitting surfaces. So uh, if you haven't watched the previous video or uh, you, you're unfamiliar with it, I'd recommend you watch that. I'll put a link in the uh, description as well as like a little uh, annotation if I still remember how to use YouTube correctly in there. But anyways, yeah. So we've imported a Parasolid file. Uh, it's a surface mesh now. So under geometry, which is where we're going to go, uh, we have parts. And as you can see, so part two is just the name from SOLIDWORKS. Uh, the name it, you get here is whatever the name you named it will be. So surfaces are all of the faces on here. Now, you don't have to split them up. Well, I lied, you do. If you don't split them up, you can't specify your... Um, your boundaries, like your regions, as well as you can't specify a moving floor or rotating wheels or things like that. So, um, I lied. You have to split them up. However, you don't have to split it up as detailed as I might do it, but it's helpful when you want to really get the nitty gritty of what your aerodynamics are doing. So, because what I always do is I always split these up into. I always split these up into their respective elements. So, like I have E1, E2. Uh, the end plates, uh, I split all of those up. So to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to right click faces and we are going to say split by patch. And as you can see, it becomes very colorful. And that's because StarCCM recognizes each of these as separate surfaces. And what split by patch does is it allows you to split them up into their own surfaces. So this is all considered one, um, this is all one surface body, and what we're going to be doing is splitting them up into multiple surface bodies. So, easy ones out of the way first. For uh, so these names, they aren't going. To, these names don't really matter too much. The names will matter when you get to the region, so you don't get confused. But I still recommend you name them what you plan on naming them. So in this case, this is the front of a part. So we're going to name this the inlet. And so. Uh, again, what you do is you can select to highlight it and you hit create, and then that splits it. And now notice how it's not selectable anymore. It's because we are no longer splitting this face's surface body anymore. It's its own surface body. So we'll name this symmetry. Oops. So we'll name that symmetry. And then we'll name this outlet. I always just call this ground because it's, well, the ground. And then I always name this top and side. So now all of the outer walls of our cavity have been selected. And all that's left is the wing. And as you can see, it's all split up already as different surfaces. Now we need to actually formally split them. So depending on your wing profile, it may or may not come in as one surface. In this case, it is one surface because this is a... Um, how it was drawn in SOLIDWORKS, but other ones might have multiple surfaces, so just double check. And then I'll get to that in a bit. But anyways, yeah, so I always name this, like say, front wing E1. And then front wing E2. Self-explanatory. Um, but notice how I forgot a little part here. So what we can do is if you forget a surface, you don't have to exit out and you don't have to close everything burnt down. What you do, what you can do is just go ahead and let's name Let's split this again. Let's name this front wing E1 forgotten. All right. And so what happens is, see how we have our two surfaces? We have the forgotten part and then we have the actual element one. What you do is select, select them both. The first one you select will be the name of the final part. That'll make sense in a second. So select them both, right? Right click and you can say combine. And bam, now they're all combined as one surface. And again, the first one you selected will be what the name of the combined surface is. So that's what happens if you forget that. And as you can see, these are now split up, right? So you always have to leave faces here. Generally, I always name the end plates as well, just to be thorough. But since all we have is just the front wing, I will leave this B. But one trick I will show is when you have more complicated geometries, you'll see like, you know, you have all these surfaces, right? You have to normally hit control and then click to uh, do this. And that, that can get really tedious. So what you can do instead is just click it, double click it, 
and what it'll do is it'll select every surface that is um, bordering it. I can't think of the word right now, but you can see how uh, you can see how all of the edges are selected. But you know, you still have to select these, and you would name this like say outer end plate or inner pl end plate, things like that. But that's one way, so you don't have to manually select everything. But anyways, that is splitting a part. That is splitting a part. Uh, through surface uh, through patch surface patch so you don't have to worry about curves or anything and that's all I want to cover for this video uh, next video we'll just keep going through the the tree